In today's episode, I'm going to show you how I made these market stalls using very cheap materials that you can find at your local craft store or dollar store. I made up eight of these in a day and it cost me less than $10. Alright, so to start things off for our materials, we are going to need some of these barbecue skewers. They are fairly thick. Uh, some popsicle sticks, I'm showing tongue depressors here, a craft stick uh, about an inch wide, and then we're going to use some matches, these are the uh, slightly longer ones, and some tumbling tower Jenga blocks. Alright, so to make the foundation and base for the market stall, I'm taking two of the tumbling tower blocks and just gluing them together. Now this is going to create a nice heavy base that will prevent it from tipping over and just give a nice uh, solid foundation to attach everything to as we move on through the steps. Alright, once that's dried, uh, we are going to take our matches and create some uh, supports for some legs. Now all we're doing is measuring the match and cutting it to the height of the market stall. Now we're going to need four of these per stall, so cut them appropriately. It ends up being like three per matchstick. Alright, so now using a little bit of wood glue, I'm going to just kind of uh, slap it on with a toothpick and then press and hold the matchstick in place until it adheres, then leave it off to the side to dry. Alright, so giving that a few minutes to dry, I'm going to now add the countertop using a little bit more wood glue and taking the craft stick, again this is about an inch wide, I'm going to just kind of stick it onto the top and line it up to the back, well what I'm going to call the back of the market stall. This will give a little bit of an overhanging lip off the front to kind of help denote that it is a uh, countertop in the front of the stall. Okay, now that that's dry, there we go. Now that that's dry, we're going to start attaching an awning and legs for these sides. Now I have pre-cut these pieces. Uh, we've got a piece that is two inches long, then a one and a half, and then uh, about a half-ish piece and then an angled piece. Now using some gel super glue just because I want these to adhere quickly and I don't want to spend you know, 10 minutes holding each piece while the wood glue dries into place. Yep. Speaking of drying into place, looks like I have to hold this a little bit longer. So with the gel super glue it works pretty nice but you have to give it a little bit of time to start to cure. Now taking this angled piece, uh, this is about a uh, half inch or so, three quarters inch. I just cut it at a 45 degree on both ends to kind of give a little bit of support for the rest of the pillar. Now using a little bit of wood glue, I'm going to start attaching it to the base of the market stall. Now we're going to start things off with the shorter leg. Trust me, it's way easier to attach the short one before attaching the long one. Alright, now if you have a clamp or something like that, you can use it to kind of lock everything in place. Uh, if you don't, a rubber band works pretty well for it. Uh, and then we're going to let that sit off to the side to dry. So, I have done it on one side, now we're going to do it on the other for attaching a little bit of extra detail to kind of give the impression that there's a little bit of support. So using a little bit of wood glue I'm just kind of pressing it into the area and then I cut a couple of matches to kind of fit into this area. Uh, I've got a couple of angled pieces and a single straight edge piece and it's just going to add a little bit of extra detail to kind of give the impression that the countertop is being supported. And now I cut another uh, piece. This is uh, about three quarters of an inch and doing a little bit of trimming. It fits perfectly in place to kind of 
add a little bit more support for the awning and just kind of help make sure that nothing is going to fall off or move. So now we need to finish out the awning support and to do that we're going to cut a couple of pieces to fit in between these awnings. Uh, easy way to do it, just take one of the tumbling tower blocks, use it as a uh, ruler and cut things accordingly to kind of be the length of the block since we use those as our foundation. Now I'm putting three in here because I want the awning to kind of drape over it and I think it'll look a little bit nice if it kind of drapes in between everything. Now I want a little bit of extra space to kind of help display things so using a uh, popsicle stick craft stick I just kind of did a quick cut for an extra shelf and I made it a little bit long so it kind of wedges into place and then holds. Now doing a spray prime of uh, raw umber I'm going to start off with a dry brush of raw sienna. Uh, this is going to be actually not really much of a dry brush more of a light over brush just to kind of give a wood-ish kind of coloration back to the piece. I want this to look kind of like it's a weathered aged wood like it's been sitting out for a while so I didn't want a uh, really bright wood I wanted something kind of dark. And then to add our wear lines we're going to dry brush on some warm gray from uh, Master's Touch and this will kind of give it a weathered aged distressed look. Okay, so now that that's done, we can go ahead and make our awning. Now, this is a piece of uh, wired canvas that I got at the Dollar Tree. Uh, they sell them in rolls of like 15 yards. They come in handy for a lot of different things. And I cut this one to about three inches. And then using a stick, I'm just kind of pressing it into place to kind of give it a little bit of shape. And once I have the shape that I like, I'm going to super glue it in place with a liquid super glue, not gel super glue. That way it will soak through, permeate through the cloth and onto the wood and just kind of hold everything in place. And then once that's dry, I went ahead and added some decorations. So we started things off by adding some potion bottles, books, and scrolls to make some arcane merchants. Uh, then I made up a couple of little produce stands for some provisioning supplies. And then using some old Legos, I uh, painted them up to make some armor and weapon merchants. And then finally, a general merchant with like blankets and potions and stuff like that. On your way back to town to turn in your quest, your party finds a small merchant caravan. As you begin perusing the wares, you find many items bearing the mark of the Adventurer's Guild, with a sign that says, Slightly Used. As you begin to question the merchants about where they came upon this, a group of bandits burst from their hiding places. It seems that this entire market is a trap to lure adventurers in and steal their belongings. Roll for initiative. Alright everyone, thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe for future content, comment in the comments section, and we will see everyone next episode.